Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, mostly whole food, plant based uh, cooking channel. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button, show us some love, and please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Dads family. We do have a Patreon page set up. Our patrons are our monthly supporters who help us put the show together and get the plant based. <laughs> the birds are really, really loud. I don't know if you can hear them. It's like really crazy out there. I don't know what's going on, maybe because it's spring, but they're really loud. Our patrons are our monthly supporters that help to put the show together to get the plant-based message out to the public. If you ever saw, saw the show, or if you're in the Facebook group and you think, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help. You can become a patron, uh, one of our monthly supporters. We could really use your help. You can also do a one-time donation on PayPal uh, if you're not interested in doing a, a monthly donation. There'll be a link for PayPal and Patreon right below this video in the description. The birds, the birds are just so loud right now. Just a quick note, I am not a doctor. I am not giving medical advice. I'm just a fat guy that likes to cook plants and that's all I'm doing. I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you what to do. Again, I'm not a doctor. I did not go to medical school. All right, I'm not a teacher either, but we know how that turned out, right? All right, so for today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make my one pot bell pepper rice dish. This dish used to be one of my soup recipes. It was a bell pepper soup. And then one day I threw too much rice in and the rice absorbed all of the broth and it just became this really great kind of peppery rice dish. And I absolutely love it this way. So while you're making this, keep that in mind. You can make this a soup by putting half the rice in and you will have a brothy soup. I prefer it this way. To me, it's much more of a hearty meal. When I have soup, I think, okay, you know, where's the entree? When I have this, I don't think that it's filling. There's some great ingredients in this, including some seitan, which I don't cook with much, but seitan's amazing. It's very low in fat, and it's a great source of vegan protein. So I'm gonna use it in this episode for probably the first time in any of my videos, uh, and you'll get a chance to see how I prepare it and all that. I'm gonna do a quick shout out to all my sixth grade students at the middle school that I teach at. How y'all doing? All right. Sit back, check out what I'm making here. I put a lot of energy into this and I really want you to see how good this is. I suggest that you try this recipe, it's delicious. All right, let's get to the food. The first thing I need for my bell pepper rice dish is some bell peppers. Here I've got two bell peppers and I'm gonna use my mini Santuku knife from Dalstrong. There's a link below this video where you can purchase your very own doll strong knife. I'm just gonna cut the top off here and then I've got the garbage ball on the side to catch all that stuff. And then I'm gonna cut the pepper into strips to get it ready for dicing. Next, I'm just gonna grab all my strips together and cut the short way and dice up all these peppers. Then I'm gonna do one final dice on top of the whole pile just to make sure I get any big pieces all chopped up. Now I'm gonna gather it all and dump it into a prep bowl. And you can see here we are ready to move forward. Next, I'm gonna dice an onion. I'm basically doing the same thing. Cutting the ends off, cut it in half, and then start dicing it up. Here you can see I've got a beautiful diced onion ready to go. Now I've got my garlic press. I'm just gonna stick some garlic through this uh, little pressy thingy and give it a nice good squeeze. And you can see here, it's just coming right out the bottom there. I'm gonna grab my knife and just kind of scrape it clean right into that bowl. That's about three cloves of garlic right there. Next, I've got some seitan I just picked up at Sprouts. Here's the brand I'm using right here. And I'm just gonna use a scissor here to cut this package open and get it ready for prepping. I'm just gonna dice it into small pieces. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then cut it again. I'm gonna keep cutting and chopping it until I've got it all diced up. It needs to kind of mimic ground beef. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I've got all my seitan in a bowl and it's ready to use for the recipe. And this is really all that I do with it. Next, I've got a sauce pot on medium heat and I'm putting just a little bit of broth in for sauteing my veggies. Once the broth comes to steam, I'm gonna add my veggies. First, I'm popping in my two diced bell peppers. I used red, but you can use red and orange. Next, I'm putting in one onion that I diced up. Now I'm putting in my two eight ounce boxes of sateen that I diced up. For the spices, I have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one half a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna to toss them right into my sauce pot with my other ingredients. Now I'm gonna saute my veggies and the seitan with the spices 
just until the vegetables are all softened and the onions are translucent. That should take about five minutes. If you need to add more broth to it, then do it. You don't want anything to stick here. So that's what I'm doing. Just keep working with it and give it a little mixy mixy. Don't let it stick. And you can see here, I'm just kind of mixing it up and I'm gonna keep moving with it. It's looking good, it's not sticking. Uh, it's nice and freely moving, it's doing well. After about four or five minutes when the peppers and onions start softening, I'm gonna throw in the garlic. This is about three to four garlic cloves that we uh, minced. I'm gonna give it a little mixy mixy and get it all worked in and let that cook for about two to three more minutes. Next, I'm adding one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can see here I'm using the diced and fire roasted tomatoes from uh, Trader Joe's. Next, I'm adding about 14 ounces of crushed tomatoes. This is a 28 ounce can, so I added half of it. And you can see right here, this is the one that I used. Now I'm adding some vegan Worcestershire sauce. Sorry, people in Massachusetts. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of that. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my broth, which is about four cups, 32 ounces. If you want an actual soup, add a little bit more broth, maybe about six cups. After that, I'm dumping in one cup of rice. Again, if you want it to be a soup, then put in only half a cup. And I'm gonna get this started with a little mixy mixy to get all that combined. And I'm gonna turn up the heat and bring this to a boil. You can see here that it's nice and boiling and ready to go. Once that happens, I'm gonna put the cover on, turn the heat down to simmer, and let it cook for about 25 minutes. After about 25 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna take the cover off. And you can see here, the rice has absorbed the liquid. There's not much liquid left. In fact, whatever liquid that you see here that's left will eventually be absorbed. And it's looking really good. It's nice and thick and hearty. Look at all those chunks of satin in there, the red peppers, the rice. This is looking amazing. I'm gonna take a little taste here to make sure it's ready to go. And this is a winner. Let's plate this baby up. Here, we've got a nice little yellow dish. You've heard me say this before, yellow makes me happy. I'm just gonna spoon some of my rice dish right into this bowl. Then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of basil because I feel like tomatoes go really good with basil. And then I've got some fresh cut scallion I'm just throwing on top for a little crunch. And here you have it, a beautiful bowl of my one pot bell pepper rice dish. You are absolutely gonna love this. Let's eat. And that's all there is to it. You could absolutely make this in the Instant Pot. I'll put Instant Pot directions below for this. Uh, it would be a really simple recipe in there uh, and probably much quicker. Um, I like make it this way and uh, it really comes together really fast. So take a look at this. You can see I've got my uh, rice in there and you can see the big chunks of uh, seitan that's in there and, and you know, the, it's red from the pepper and it's got uh, the scallions on top. And I mean, it just it smells amazing. That, that cooked pepper smell, so good. It's a lot like stuffed peppers, right? All of the stuff you would have in stuffed peppers is in here. It's just not in the pepper, right? The pepper's all just cut up instead of, you know, being the outside of this. I don't really care for stuffed peppers, but I love it this way. I love it when the peppers are all chopped up. All right, I know, I know this is amazing, um, but I'm gonna give it a try here on camera and see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This has been sitting here for like probably almost an hour while I uh, got ready and all that because I had to do food photography, and even cold, it's delicious. So good, guys. Ah. So this is a nice filling meal that you can make on Sunday and have all week long. It stores really nice in the refrigerator, and it is a great lunch for me if I take this during the week. And again, like I said earlier, this is originally a soup recipe. You can put in uh, a little bit more broth. I'll put the directions in the, uh, on the blog for this on how to make it a soup. But you can put in a little more broth, a little less rice, and it will be a soupy mixture. But I just love it as a rice dish like this. I just feel like it's a whole meal. It's the same thing you're eating anyway. But to me, the, the thickness and the, the heartiness with the rice just makes it feel like a full meal. All right, that's our video for today, please. Hit that like button, show us some love. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And leave a comment below. Are you making rice dishes? I know it's the winter, it's like 82 degrees today. I'm sorry, in Arizona, in the middle of February, but that's what it is here. But still the winter for us, and I'm still craving these warm, thick, ricey dishes. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>